<sighs> Look, a little tiny sliver of meat. Put down your little meat. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction video. It's Corbin. I'm Ashley. That's weird. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Come on, juicy content. It's so juicy. Oh, I know what happened. You, what? Moved, the, you moved the camera. I did. Yep. Tony <laughs> threw me off. <laughs> and thank you for the support. Hey, turn the phone. Your Twitter account. <laughs> Struggles to Today we were actually doing another food video. I gotta go potty. From that same... Uh, Hold from, it. From the same channel, the uh, oh, best ever food review show. We were actually doing multiple. Oh, oh yeah, that guy we like. But this one's called The Best Breakfast in oh. Delhi. Okay. Uh, well, that would be bagels with locks and... Oh, wait, no, that's breakfast in a deli. It's called... <laughs> it's called Stupid Good Indian Street Food. Hey. Old Delhi I and New that. Delhi. <gasps> what? I didn't know they're old and news. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. the old ones were probably stale. It's probably different than Old Mexico and New Mexico. Yes, or Old York and New York. Is there an Old York? Yes. Is there? Okay. Why do you think it was top. called New York, New England, New Hampshire? No idea. Don't you know American history? Nope. <sighs> I, I think you taught that, so we didn't learn much. <laughs> Here we go. Just straight up oil. Oh. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Today we're in India, going on another fun food adventure right now in Old Delhi, where we are looking for the most classic and unique dishes that we can find here on the street. Let's do it. Are you ready? How are you doing? Oh, I thought you were a pedal. So no, you're the water and pedals. Delhi, I love your bike. Today it's all about mouth-watering Indian food in Delhi. We'll be exploring some classic staples of Indian street food. One with everything, please. We're gonna break into some kitchens and steal their recipes. It's almost disconcerting. The bubbling, it's like it's it's like an alien. Also, there will be monkeys. I don't wanna look, but it's Jumanji up in here. But now it's time for breakfast. This is a pretty common breakfast here in Delhi. Forget yeah, your cornflakes, forget your Cheerios. Today yeah. we're doing breakfast how it I mean, should be done. Well, good morning, everybody. It's morning time in India, and we're gonna get breakfast here at All the Corner, tasty. where they're making what it is. Jole. I'll do it. Breakfast well, what is that chai. besides bad pronunciation? Coffee. We have a delicious Just bread that's made in oil, but we also have a chickpea with a top secret family recipe. We're gonna order in just a second thing. from this counter, but I keep seeing about every two minutes someone walking down these Ooh. stairs with a big, delicious stainless steel bowl of bread. So I'm gonna find the source of that right now. Let's go. I wanna to touch that. I, I now wanna to touch it upstairs. <laughs> They've had to renovate their kitchen a little bit. This is a temporary space. So here in the living room, we basically have the food prep going on. Chickpeas, potatoes right here. A bunch of food prep is happening in this room. And then right over here, they're making that bread. This is where the process begins. We've got this huge bowl of dough. So they take a little piece of dough, then they get a thumbful of this lentil butter. Then they wrap it inside of the whole bigger dough ball. And I think that's what helps it expand. What's really unique about this bread is that it bubbles up and becomes hollow. After they've created this dough ball, a man here takes it, he does a little slappy slap, spanks it a bit, and then he chucks it into this giant fryer here. Within about a minute, these go from flat to bubbling up beautifully. Uh, oh, it's tasty. Just like me. Down. Oh, no. He says, get out of my way, I'm working. So it is a non-stop assembly line going from basically flour over here to making the dough, throwing it in the fryer, and then delivering it downstairs to the hungry customers. So they're constantly making this fresh bread. Oh, he's back for more. Right now, I'm here with Imanchu. Yes. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you. I've been working here for the last 10 years. Uh, but our business is 60 years old. My grandfather started 60 years back. And what would you say makes this place so special? It's a, our recipe that makes it very special. My grandfather had made it himself. We use special masalas in our chickpeas. And a masala, masala just refers to a certain blend of spices. Blend so of spices. You have your own, like, 
like secret proprietary blend of spices yes, here. Yeah, we're doing own blend of secret spices. Could you write it down for me? Now I notice your dining room, there's no chairs. So it's kind of like some kind of Indian fast food almost. It will just take five minutes for you to come in, take your order, eat and just leave. So I this like, can be a like breakfast, it can be lunch, it can like be dinner. It's not exactly dinner, dinner because it's quite heavy for dinner. Okay. But maybe you eat dinner kind of a thing. When the owner tells you the food is heavy, it is no joke. Even aside from the fried bread, this is how they assemble the chana masala. Wow, sir. And then some more potato. That looks tasty, actually. Yeah, it does. Great. If it's not spicy, I would Sana. totally eat that. Oh, that's just water, huh? Yeah. And this is ghee? Uh, what's ghee? It's butter that's got the fat oiled out of it. Wow, that was so hot oil. oil? Fat out. Just straight up oil. oil. And that's a green chili. Hello, Maya. Ghee uh, is delicious. My order will start with a heaping oh. scoop of chana masala, then <laughs> some pickled so vegetable, good. and fresh bread. Oh, are these both fine? Are all three of these fine? I love bread. Damn, I don't fine. realize you oh, cooked up that I big. went next door to grab a fresh lassi, a blend of yogurt, water, and sugar, and the perfect companion to this heavy breakfast. Oh, it's so frothy. Oh. Let's try it out from what my giant it? chalice. Holy cow, it looks like a bowling ball. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at that cup. It's like a game of thrones. That's a great balance to what we're about to eat yogurt. because it is heavy. I'm going to try some of this just alone. Oh, that's delicious. Full of spices, just pops in your mouth. Oh, and then a so nice good. kind of mushy bean texture too. Let's rip this bad boy open. Come on. I mean, what a work of art this is. You don't really need Dang. a spoon. You just use this. You got right. the potato on there. Scoop I always up. get way yeah, too big. Yeah, messy. I'll bet I'm hungry. See if there's some rice in there too. <laughs> You're converting Indian to a it now. I it's good. The nice rice like a burrito. The texture is like nice. crunchy and soft at the oh, same man. time. <laughs> I could eat a thousand of these bread bubbles. But non with rice becomes bread bubbles. Bread bubbles. Bread bubbles. Bread bubbles. It becomes perfect. It becomes popular in India. With some light butter on top. It is not just bread. It is an oh, eating God. utensil. And we're using it to yeah, scoop up these beans right here. We also have a chili right here. Yeah, turn red. But this is great. This is just a super quick, easy meal in the morning. By the way, all this is under 30 cents. But yeah. Mmm, but the chop. And don't yeah. forget to wash it down with some of this. Oh no! <laughs> the end. Is that, is that, um, what's that drink? Welcome to Old Holy Delhi. Pump. I used to ride Pump. here. Pump. Uh, we're headed right now to Pump. 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 a place Pump. where they're Pump. making this beautifully stuffed bread. They have all kinds of different fillings, and we're gonna go check out some oh. of those right now. As long as I don't capsize. Hopefully, I won't tip over. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. So, we're going there right now to check it out. And, uh, is that a monkey? Yes! Hold on, is that a monkey? I don't want to look, but it's Jumanji up in here. There's some monkeys <laughs> falling above me. It's not cute. There's stories of like monkeys like will steal your phone, steal your keys. And there's yes. like a baby one trying to eat this wire on oh, here too. There's one, oh, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe they just snatch some food, like maybe they just grab like some vegetables from down here and then they just run away. I don't know. We should I ask them. Would. Do they steal your Absolutely they take your they food? Will. Really? He said the monkeys take the food. This is a serious issue. <laughs> yes, it is. Monkeys are being eaten. Eat the monkeys. Eat the monkey. <laughs> Duh. This yeah. It's like the last thing I should be doing. Yeah, no, no, go, go. Yeah, you're good. Okay, <laughs> monkeys are spent. Time for me. And that's what the monkeys were focusing on the bread. We're going to this shop right here. A tradition of six generations. This paratha stand. We're going to go inside and see what kind of fillings they have. Paratha is kind of this stuffed flatbread. Here they have all the different fillings. The most common is potato pulse. I don't even... What's pulse? Oh, a lentil. Someone told me it's a lentil. I mean, I just remembered that. Oh, cheese. Mint? Mint seems like an you after mint dinner brata. Banana. I think that's perfect. We'll get one cheese for dinner and one banana for dessert. Oh, by uh, egg cheese and egg banana. So he's hollowed out the dough and he's shoving this beautiful cheese inside and he's putting some masala on top. Oh, I want oh, cheese. Oh, oh, that looks tasty already. It looks like a cheese giant cheese that. ball. And then he's gonna Goat? douse some flour on there and flatten that sucker out so that is full of cheese. And then next is banana. So he's chopping up our bananas to put inside. And he also put in some condensed milk with dry fruits. This is looking more like what? an empanada or a samosa. Yeah, yeah. He just put our cheese in the fryer. Hi, you're on my show. I, I don't know. Sorry. Here we go. One of these. <laughs> I know that for sure. The banana one is easy to pick out, but that's coming up next. He's like, why are you so loud? It's so early right now. Oh, this one is the cheese one. The banana's going in. That's going to be delicious. And look at this. The banana's already turned dark brown full of deliciousness potato vegetable oh, mashed pumpkin man. curry some potato and pea curry and a sweet sauce with banana slices and we're gonna start with the cheese of course because that is dinner I'm gonna rip it 
here in front of you so you can see. Uh, okay, it's not gooey. It's more like a cottage cheese. Try a chunk of that now. Interesting. Mm. So you can taste the masala in there. Actually, it's a lot of cinnamon, which I didn't expect. So we're gonna take this. Hey, we're just making a food show real quick. Is that okay? Thanks. There's some <laughs> sauce on there. You like that? Let's take a big bite. That looks tasty. Everything on that oh, plate. Tremendous is spicy amazing. curry explosion. Potato, bread, some cheese. It's very exciting. Yeah. Mm. So and then you can dip it in here. Oh, on so the board hungry. of that one. I'll put it in here. Nice and tangy, salty, and I'm gonna just jump right into dessert. It's called a banana prata. It's almost like a, a little empanada. empanada. We're put it in that sauce. Oh, it's just mama. dripping with sugary, syrupy sweetness. Mmm. Bananas all sweet mushy. Look at that. Look at that dip shot. You guys like that? Are you getting dip hungry? Shot. Are you hitting the like button? Oh, keep hitting the like button for the. Oh, hi. Another bite. That looks mm. tasty. It's like one of my favorite things I've had so far. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's chewy, it's flaky on the outside. It's everything you want in a so food. I'm so right now. I'm so Buddy up. Buddy up. Thank you. I'm going to walk off into the sunset with this. Corn honking makes me happy. That's all you talk about. When the horns are happy, you're happy. happy. You're happy. Here, was that pretty good? Pronunciation on fleek? We've come here to basically <laughs> yeah. a meat paradise. They have every different type of meat, and we're about to see that now. This place they is kind of like meat. the Indian Ew. Sonic. People are coming here, ordering food, and they're eating on their motorbikes. So their motorbike seat becomes a table as they all come Ooh, that what is have, that? A nice snack, have a little feast with their friends. I'm we're gonna hungry. check out the food, get something to eat, and maybe join some people out here to also eat. Follow me into the kitchen. I mean, there's several kitchens here, but this is where a lot of the meat preparation is going on here. We have a couple of these gigantic oh, tandoor man. ovens. Bam, giant meat skewers. You have one of those, right? Want chicken, fish, more chicken. It's going to this gigantic commercial rotate tandoor oven, making this beautiful tandoori chicken. All right, guys, that welcome to the bread. Oh, there there are a million no, types no, of bread in India. Chicken. I knew for sure of naan and butter naan and so garlic mean. butter naan and garlic butter cheese naan. Those were the ones I knew. But here we have Romali roti, the thinnest bread in India. Romali means handkerchief because this bread is as thin as a handkerchief. I think My man roti is busy at work. You're gonna see this beautiful India. artistry in a second. I'm not as here With the dough, they take it out of here, <laughs> put it in a ball. I wanna see the ball. He's gonna flatten it out. Oh, whoa! We're and he does this amazing move, and he throws it on this crazy hot upside down walk over here. That roasts for about like five, ten seconds each side, and then that's wow. it. It's ridiculously fast. Mm. Oh, it goes from a ball to this <laughs> super thin bread that has a perfect consistency throughout. It's all completely the same thinness all the way through, no holes, no tearing, even though it's completely thin. It's almost disconcerting. The bubbling, it's like it's it's like an alien. Your bread game is strong. We've entered the meat room. What, meat room number seven. Right here we have the kaloti kebab. Gently searing this beautiful oh, mutton man. masterpiece. Finely minced and pounded mutton. I was told they pounded the heck out of this particular mutton. Sorry about that. It's just in a nice little pond of ghee, nice. and it looks great. There's so much intense spiciness going on in here, like the air is spicy. If you breathe in too quick, like it's gonna burn your nose. So once it's done, he's gonna scoot it to the edge, that one and then burns? we're gonna mix that with our bread that you just saw, yeah, and I'm gonna go try burger. to find someone to eat this with. Oh, sh do I still have? What's your name, by the way? I'm good, I'm good to write. Oh, have you been here before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's great meat. They got a lot of meat. I'm gonna try some of this mutton. Nice and lean. Oh, that's delicious, but it needs some bread. It's so fine, it's like a pate of mutton oh, he, with, with, with all so the Indian yeah, spices. Tasty. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So is this like something you'll do on a, on a weekend? You'll come out, hang out? Yeah, we can like, visit. Did one of you drive here in this bike? <laughs> Does this bike belong to this place? Yes. It's like a table. Yeah, we are just Wait, eating the food. We're eating it. Why don't they just the put actual tables here? Just to make it somewhat different from other like restaurant right. things. I like it. It's romantic. Yeah. I mean, charming. I meant charming. This is delicious. Roti. Yeah. It's just obviously super thin and like kind of chewy. All right, well, thanks for letting me. Oh, can you pretend to eat more? Here, pretend to eat that. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with me and pretending to eat so we could do this scene. It was a lot of fun.
for me, and I think it's a lot of fun for the people watching. Yeah. They're having so much fun right now, they're like, they can't not really, subscribe fast enough. I, and they're hitting the like button, this. This and they're leaving fun. a lot of positive comments and no upside down like buttons. Guys, this video was made possible hey, by One Trip to hate Vietnam. You? One Trip is a company Probably. putting on tours in Vietnam. Right now they're- <clears throat> oh, Man, wow. I am. He'd be so fun to go around and try food with. Thing? Of really course you can. Right now and I'm yeah, now. Oh, uh, Bread is like one of my favorite I love foods bread. in general. Just just bread and m much less like homemade roti Wonderful or bread. naan or just anything that, and it seems like a lot of Indian food is surrounding bread or surrounded by bread because <laughs> you pick cuisine, it up with you know? the bread. Um, oh man, that's so tasty. I would eat everything in that video. We need more mutton in Los Angeles. And I, bread. I don't think I've ever had, I don't think I've ever had mutton. I'm going to be honest with you. Have you had lamb? Yes. Well, is that mutton? It's goat. Same same oh. family of animal. Gotcha. So uh, like, yeah, yeah mutton is like goat meat. It's is, goat meat. Is, yeah, euros yeah. are made with lamb. Okay. And with lamb's really popular here in Los I Angeles. thought you were talking about... Get a lot of lamb dishes and you I can find them. the currency in oh, Europe. Okay. <laughs> it's like, so a euro? I like the euro. <laughs> Yeah, okay. you can find it, but you have to go. It can be found at exotic meat places versus lamb. Go to any of the Middle Eastern restaurants around here, and they've got. Mm. There's a few Middle there. Eastern restaurants around here. Just there are just yeah, just, a few. just a few. Yeah, we well, have um, everything here in LA. But yeah, they're oh man, they look so tasty. I'm mm. so hungry. I tell you what, my eyes were opened with mutton, with a dish that Indrani fed me in Calcutta that was one of the most glorious pieces mm. of food I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah, I can't wait till we go to. <sighs> You're going to get a lot of food videos when we come to India, let me tell you. Um, but I want to try I'm like so all different types of, because breakfast is actually one of my favorite meals. It's a great time. It's really? Oh yeah. I'm a big breakfast person. Okay. Here's a really important question. Mm -hmm. When you wake up in the morning at any point, whether it's upon rising or an hour or two later, you're actually craving breakfast like you would crave lunch and dinner? More than most. Wow. You and I are so opposite. Yep. I never crave breakfast. I crave lunch and dinner like a maniac and mm -hmm. in between, mm -hmm. but I, I usually have to force myself to eat a, to eat breakfast and never when I wake up. Oh no, I, I've always had to eat breakfast. Wow. Always. I can't skip it or else I get really, really mad. So <laughs> I get really Why mad. Why are you so quiet about the craving food moments? I'm just so hungry. You're like me though. You don't crave breakfast when you wake up. Usually not. Um, yeah. In the past few months, I have, but there's been a few Wonder changes why. in my life where I just want to eat at all hours of the day. Why yeah. do you crave weird foods now, Ash? I didn't say weird. Why I do you crave at weird times now, Ash? <laughs> but yeah, Baby. The, uh, are you pregnant? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, the uh, I kid's gonna have a weird grandpa. That's a given. Um, I wonder who it is, though. Ooh. Jeez. Yes, but the... Uh, cheese? Did you say cheese? The, the roti that they were making, which we haven't had. The bread. We need it. Uh, we've tried naan. Yes. I believe oh, what I they say so is much naan. roti is actually... Uh, they're both popular, but I think roti is actually even more popular in India than, than naan. What's the really yummy bread that you break? And yeah, it's, it's like... Thin. It's... Mm. Well, that one we're like talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's no. super thin like this, but this one. That could be soft. just a bad roti because <gasps> regular roti is uh, no. Soft. That's a that's a legit thing mm -hmm. that they serve yeah, I don't know in some is. Indian restaurants. Yeah, I, don't I don't know, know what it is either. Anyway, yeah. yummy food. I want to eat it. Now. Looks great. I can't wait to try it in India. We'll oh, make our yeah. own food video like this. We'll be like exactly all the best food breakfast places in India. Yep. Food breakfast. Food breakfast places. Uh, the that's best food name breakfast. Will you be eating breakfast food with old monk? Well, yeah. <laughs>